Hello, everybody. Welcome to Real on the Real, where we keep it real and give you the gossip, the truth on reality TV. Today, we're going to be talking about Mary to Medicine, season eight, episode three. And my name is IJ. I'm UC. And I'm Dior. Well, before we start, I first want to say, Dior, I love the blowout. It is so <laughs> full and cute. I am here for it. Just here yeah, for it, girl. You. Love it. Love it. Thank you. Well, last episode, we met Toya's new friend named Anila. Yes, Anila. I, like I her. thought she was fresh, beautiful, free spirited, and like sassy, a breath yeah. of fresh. Yeah, sassy, like a, almost like Toya. Right. Mm -hmm. nicer. Yes, nicer. Because she hasn't been around long enough to get those hardened edges. Right. And I felt like finally Toya has somebody that's like her. She's mm -hmm. not the odd person out, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, we had um Jackie and and Heavenly and all the physician Contessa. They're all physicians of some sort of manner. And there you had the one housewife just by herself. No, you also had um, Quad and Mariah. Quad, but, but they you didn't know, really connect Quad, with her. They didn't, she didn't connect with her. And Quad, you know what, Quad, it thinks like, you know, she has that higherness of herself as a physician anyway. So she has that, you know, thinks, thinks of herself much of that herself. elevated. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. she she couldn't compete. She there's no now she has somebody that she can really bond with, and I thought she needed that, and right. she needed it this season. Mm -hmm. Um, and we got to see some more of COVID and how hard it is on the physicians, how right. long they work, the hours that they're working, 12, 14 hours. I mean, poor Jackie was saying, you know, I just got done doing 12 hours, and I still got another four hours on call to go. You, you know, know yeah, we had two hours of sleep. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you're wondering how are you functioning that way? But then you know the funny thing, I see um, Toya's husband come home after a 12, 14 hour day. He's still happy, talkative to the kids, and cooking. so and he's cooking. Yes. I was like, what is this? He is super And yeah, she's complaining. She's still got to never talk about. You know what? this COVID and I got all these kids here in the house and I gotta wake up in the morning and iron some clothes and I gotta cook the breakfast and make sure they're doing their schoolwork and then she says yeah. to her son it's Wednesday did you do your stuff yet and he's just like no I didn't do it I'm just like but you're home all day mom what it's, were you doing it is funny how like parents like are you know saying that they, they shouldn't have to be like you know teaching their children you know <laughs> um because it's the teacher's jobs and it's like but they're your kids and like sometimes like the kids have behavioral problems and you're sending those off to other people now you're seeing what your children are doing in school mm -hmm. and you know you should feel sorry for the teachers or be more appreciative of them so well, the teachers the I'm way sure she they was are. saying sure it they i was just now. like they're your kids <laughs> right, right. So I thought that I was think about it from Toya's perspective. She's used to playing tennis five, seven days a week, two, three hours a day, lounging, <laughs> sipping on some rose all day, every day, and now she actually has to work. Yeah. And she's not used to it. Right. You know, so well, no, it's not even working. You actually have to take care of your kids. Right, right. Which is a job. As yes, most, it is a job. It is yeah. a job. It is so a job. She's, she's not used to it. So you right. have to yeah, but you have to put it in perspective. He's yeah. out saving lives, coming home, still cooking, you know, conversing with you, uh -huh. have, has a great attitude, uh -huh. you know, so he's- And you know, it could be just what we see on TV too. Mm -hmm. Because right. when they showed the off-camera type, Toya wasn't looking as glamorous and she looked like the regular everyday person, you know, with her headscarf on, ironing clothes and so forth. So she didn't look that glamorous like. Mm -hmm. But I also wanted to bring up a point the doctor said that was that during this COVID time, a lot of them didn't get to work. Patients weren't coming in for their heart failures, heart attacks, kidney issues, mm -hmm. cancer. You know, yeah. patients had all these ailments, all these 
chronic Routine, illnesses. Physicals, checkups, where they make money doing these yeah. things. They People weren't like, coming in for them. Wait, the patients like electing to stay home? Because I feel like a lot of pay places weren't accepting patients. A lot of well, places weren't accepting them. And because, they were afraid to go in. Yeah, you know, a lot of places in. weren't accepting. The only physicians, of course, are Sister Chi Chi, OBGYNs, because women are still having babies. Mm-hmm. So they were still being seen in the hospital, still delivering babies, and so and people forth. were doing telemedicals, you know. Yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah. that's when it but started. People still, still weren't doing that too. They weren't bothering to do that. Yeah, so, and I mean, it's a loss of income for the physicians. I'm sure they're yeah, going to make yeah. it up. And they were saying that people were losing their practices because, and you don't think about it. People do live paycheck to paycheck. They do, and when there's no income coming in. You know, they they lose their job, they mm-hmm. lose their homes. You know, even physicians who you. Because I mean, that's probably the last people. thing that you would expect is that you know you won't be able to see patients. Like you know, right. like, everyone's right. sick, so you yeah. wouldn't think that that's something you have to really. That's when you take for. your practice and you say to the hospital, "Um, you guys need any help? I'll be able to come in and help as a physician." Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's when you do that. But they were but, also um, saying the hospitals were closing. Yeah, some of the hospitals I heard were closing because of reimbursement issues, just too many patients coming in, not being able to handle them, not equipped to handle them, and probably like surgery units were being closed, where hospitals were making money from elective surgeries and Mm -hmm. so forth. I mean, those were closed because nobody was coming in for elective surgeries. So do you think that they'll be able to reopen once people start coming in for elective surgeries? Will doctors be able to reopen their practices? Or um, I think, gone? yeah, no, you'll, you'll reopen your practices because people, people don't job, they don't, like, you know, like your hairdresser, you find a hairdresser that you like and you stick with her. Sometimes you'll even drive. If you move away, you'll I drive. Your to, I haven't been to my hairdresser in over a year. But you've been trying to go natural. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, so if you find an OBG, if you find a, um, your fit, your family doctor that you've been with for years and they, they've opened their offices back again, your dentist, they've opened their offices back again, you're going to go to them. There's yeah. a backlog because I've been trying to get into the dentist and it was difficult to get in to see the dentist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But one of the things I did want to bring up was, I don't even want to say her name out loud, Heavenly looked like she was trying to do something that was good. <laughs> I was so bad. I was like, For why can't it be somebody else? <laughs> but that was terrible. Oh, the lady was just simply, Miracle was her name. Right. Simply just filming, you know, what was going on during the protest. Like you and your sons were out there during the protest. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and she got punched in the face by an officer. Oh, and thank goodness somebody caught it on camera. Oh, I know. There's some horrific things going on during the protest by the police. Oh my God, it was oh, just I, unbelievable. And I thought it was really nice of Heavenly to fly her in, yeah, do her teeth, and yeah. her teeth look great. Yeah, fantastic. Can you punch me, you trying to? <laughs> and then call Heavenly. <laughs> call somebody. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Call somebody, Aspen Dental, somebody <laughs> come see me. <laughs> Some girl that grew all your teeth. And <laughs> <laughs> but no, I was, I was, she did that. That was really good. That was really good. And I want to know what you think, Christian, about, cause you like to philo- be philo- philosophical. Mm-hmm. What do you think about Contessa and her husband having a practice together? What do I think about it? I mean, yeah. I feel like theoretically it sounds like a good idea. Like if you and your husband are in the same industry to build a family practice, but obviously it's going to be very hard, you know, because I'm sure that it's a lot of stress building a practice, especially from the beginning. It sounds like it's their first time maybe opening mm-hmm. a practice um, mm-hmm. because they're asking Jackie for advice. Right. Um, so to have that stress during COVID um, you know, you have what three children, um, 
and you, we already saw how they kind of dealt with her going back to school. I think it would be very challenging and not going to therapy anymore. So, <laughs> right. And she's not going to therapy neither. And she's not. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You said, what do you think about that situation? Um, I think it's going to be difficult, especially since their relationship is rocky. I mean, having. Do you, do you feel like it's a real say rockiness? Oh, say what? Do you feel like it's real? rockiness or is it just fake rockiness i think it's i think it's real i really do and they always say to avoid the three f's when you're um, opening a business friends families and and fools so they're they're having their family so i think that's going to be difficult to have a business with family you Mm -hmm. know so i think it's i think it's going to be hard they just have to be i think they should continue therapy especially you know during you know, opening up business, all that stress during COVID, you know, but I mean, it sounds like a good idea. Sounds like it would be the perfect idea and hopefully they can work through it without losing each other. Yeah, I'm in agreement with the both of you guys. I think it's a stressor that they probably shouldn't probably indulge in because they already have an unstable relationship from what it seems like. Mm -hmm. And they've had like issues in the past that doesn't seem to be resolved and they're not communicating. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things I see is that he's an alpha, she's an alpha. Mm -hmm. And two alphas riding together doesn't really work unless one steps back. Right. That's, I feel like that's an issue. I feel like he almost feels like a man's place is to work in a woman's place is to be at home, but not all the way be at home, but bring some money in, but not be the major, you know, right. breadwinner. breadwinner. Because did you hear what he said in the car to his kids? I'm not standing in line. That's your mom. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Right. You don't have two ways to stand in line? Yeah. All right. So I, th- I think it's going to be an issue. And I think mm-hmm. that, yeah, the writing's on the wall. Mm-hmm. But She's going into a lucrative practice. Addiction. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. So what did you guys think about Anila's parents? Oh my God, the mother cracked me up. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I wish I wish my mom would come over with all that food. Girl. <laughs> and then I, would, <laughs> I would be like, if she came, that's all you brought. <laughs> See. That's how, that's how Indian families do, you know, I, I, I was just like, like I went to my friend Shazita's house and just all types of food laid out. I was like, this is what I'm talking about. Right. I'm going to start coming here more often. She's, then we went to a little party that she had. She didn't have it, but a friend of hers had it. Mm-hmm. And her friend owns a restaurant. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. I was in heaven. I was like, this, they were playing the games and they were talking in um, their native language. Mm-hmm. And I just had my little tray with little bits of little everything on it. Yeah. And they were so, they were like, did you like it? Do you like this? Do you like that? I was like, yes. Oh my God, it's so good. It's hot and spicy. No, it's not. You know, and mm-hmm. it was fun watching them, but how lively they are, that's how, that's how they are. I mean, mm-hmm. I thought the mother was great. She helped. To me, I would have been cracking up, right? The whole entire oh, party yeah, watching. Yeah. And they love Toya. Oh my God, the mother loved Toya. <laughs> she, she, when she was talking on the phone, the mother came by and was like, hey, Toya! Yes, <laughs> and the husband was so annoyed. <laughs> was but can you imagine, like, you work all those hours yeah. and it, the house, like, things are thrown all over the place? I was right. feeling anxious for him. <laughs> And he was just like, I should have stayed at work. <laughs> he said, I should have stayed at work. I was cracking up. <laughs> and you know, the, the the wife probably felt kind of funny, you know, because she understands how her husband feels, right. but wants to have fun with her family. And that's when you just say, honey, it's okay, okay? It's all right. Just, just, it's just for a couple of days, all right? Just, right, right. Just, it's okay. We'll, right. we'll be fine just for a couple of days, you know? Yeah. So but the kids were so excited to see them. Right. That yeah. tells me, yeah, that was right. really good too. Right. Yeah. It wasn't that fake, hi grandma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it was follow the grandma and grandpa all over the place, you right, know. Right. Yeah. 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 So I thought that was really good. But mm. what I didn't like is I don't think um, Anila needs to intertwine herself in other people's business relationships. Yeah. Yeah. She shouldn't have. She knows her friend Toya does not get along with Contessa. There was no real reason to invite Contessa, was there? No, and Contessa, like, I really liked Contessa in the beginning, but Contessa does think highly of herself, too. It's just like, girl, calm down. Right, you know, right, right. And I agree with Simone when she said, it's not that Contessa didn't take her shoes off. You're, if you're coming to my house, you're taking your shoes off at the door. Plain yeah. and simple. It's and if you don't house. want to there's the door. You don't even get to get in. You know what? I can't say there's the door because you're at the door. There's you're your car. Wrong. Yeah. There's your car. <laughs> yeah. Because you're not going to walk your be neck and feet. Be yeah. Of my house. Right. If you have holes in your socks, wear a better pair. <laughs> you know? Right. Or take them off. But if your toes are looking crusty, um, go home, put some socks on. <laughs> better back. Matter of fact, go to the dollar store right around the corner. You know, there's dollar stores all over the place. Get you a pair of dollar socks, put them on, and then come back. But, you know, but I think that Simone hit a good point when she said that it's not the socks theme, it's the respect theme. Toya doesn't feel like Contessa respects her. And that's where her anger comes from. Right. And Toya just doesn't give a rat's ass. Mm -hmm. She doesn't care. Right. So, but they used to be friends, didn't they? Um, not really, right? They always no. had like some type of animosity towards I each other. I don't think that Contessa really ever respected her. I don't know why. I don't know if it's a jealous thing, jealousy thing. I just don't. I know, know that Contessa doesn't like the way she treats her husband, the way she, she talks to her husband. I, I sometimes, you know, you might be right. It might be a jealousy thing because here, toy, and it could be a jealousy thing and a. Oh my goodness, because Toya is kind of over the top with everything. And I think it's Contessa being jealous of Toya. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Contessa mm -hmm. being jealous of Toya because she has a great relationship with her husband. Mm -hmm. She has a great relationship with her kids. And they're living and the highlight. They're living the highlight, even though they can't afford it, you know. I would say now, now they are. <laughs> but they were living the high life before. Work, even though they couldn't afford it. Like, yeah, know. they were living the high life when they couldn't afford it. So I think that that whole entire scenario and the thing at the party didn't need to happen. It was so embarrassing to do it in front of the parents. Like, come on, grow up. Just contain yourself. Yeah. Like, I guess you trying to see easier said than done. Remember our trip to Europe? <laughs> Sometimes it's easier said to control yourself. Than it is. <laughs> so, but you know, we're more mature now, and they're they're mature women too. They're back then we were so young. We were you know, young. We were young. We're the, these ladies are in their fifties. Right, right. So they should be behaving better than that. Right, in, right. in front of somebody's parents. I know. That we would never do that in front of someone's parents. Yeah. No, you no. You just swallow it and you sit there. It wouldn't have hurt any of them to swallow it. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. So that, that to me, I think was really disappointing. And um, yeah, but I was very happy to see Quad, weren't you guys? No. <laughs> I, I, mean, I, I didn't have any opinion. I mean, I, I'm glad it was two minutes long because that's all I could take of it. <laughs> no, I was happy. Really quick, really quick. I got to tell you guys this. You guys are going to crack up. So we were watching, oh. we were watching House Size of Atlanta, right? Mm -hmm. Little Keith goes, I like Drew's hair. It's so cute. And I was just like, oh, you do? He's like, yeah. I said, that's a wig. He goes, no, that's a wig. Which, which one? The, the um, one when she was talking to her son. I can't I don't remember. remember what it looks like. No, he's just like, it looks like it's growing out of her head. I was just like, I know. Her wig during that scene was really, really good. Whoever installed 
you need to go back and watch it because whoever installed that wig gave her baby hairs, but not too many baby hairs. And it looked <laughs> like it was melting into her scalp. It was really good. He was just like, yeah, her hair looks good. Her hair looked the best out of everybody on the seat on the show today. I was like, even better than Portia. He goes, hmm. He goes, Portia didn't really show up that much, mom. But anyways, I just had to say that because you know how we talk mm -hmm. about hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, one of the things Indian women have to watch out for, just a side note, is they have thinning hair as they get I older. I know, Anila's hair is thinning. Right here. Yeah, I felt bad yeah. for her. But you her know, mother's hair is so thick. It's yeah. crazy thick. Mm -hmm. I know it's, and it's, I have an Indian friend too, and the same thing's happening to her, but she's much younger. She's like 32 and... Yeah, I have one that's young too. She's probably thin. right now 40 and her, she's like, my hair is thinning, IJ. I was it's like, so that funny. is crazy. I said, how, why is that? She's like, I don't know. It's something that Indian women have to go through. Some like, do, some don't. Some have like yeah. thick, glorious hair, like her mom, and then some it's thinning. Yeah, but um, I think that I was like, having they had to throw in her shade as usual, ugh. And throw Toya under the bus in regards to quad. Oh, I know quad. Which is uh, so unnecessary. So unnecessary. And what did quad really say that was bad? Nothing. She got a loan for her um her uh pool. So what? No, no. What did quad say about toy about um what did Toya say about quad that was so bad? That she has an apartment. Who gives a rat's butt? You <laughs> got an apartment. Yeah. I don't care. Right. Some apartments are more expensive than homes. Right. They don't matter. That's not enough. But, you know, Quad had to take it there. Well, where did she take it? She got a, a personal loan for her, her pool. So, what? Now, you know, they can't afford this and they couldn't afford that. And they end up doing this and they end up doing that. And, and then she took out a home loan. And then she had to take out a personal loan, too, to get a pool. A lot of people take out loans to get pools. I, I wouldn't spend $100,000 to get a pool. And the pools are really expensive. They are expensive, but yeah, I'm, I'm still not surprised the pool costs a hundred thousand dollars. But so what? Is it because they couldn't do it with their home loan? Is that the big deal? So what? I guess so. So what? She's, but you know what? She's getting paid all this money. Where's all this money that they're getting paid going to? Well, they the kids do go to expensive A school, right? Mm -hmm. And um, which you're doing homeschool, and you should have kept them at the five thousand dollars school and call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> right? They didn't know COVID was going to happen. Well, I'd be like, um, can my kids still get back in? Yeah, I will do, I will back pay for the three months I was missing because yeah. in the end, you're still going to work out. I mean, it was ridiculous. I was just like, you need to put your kids back to the other school. But um, yeah, I just think they're all worried about each other's lifestyles and so I know, forth. That's the thing about married medicine. Like mm -hmm. they're so catty, not as catty as Potomac, but they, Potomac, they are mean to each other, but not, yeah. not as bad as um, married. I mean, married to medicine isn't as bad as Potomac. Yeah. And I'm happy they didn't do the storyline about Simone and Jackie. Yeah. Let, yeah. let that rest for a couple of episodes. Yeah. Yeah, we need a break. <laughs> well, ladies, I don't have anything else, you know. Anything else to cover? No. Yeah. And I don't even know that they even showed anything like exciting coming up in the season. I don't know. Yeah, they, uh -uh. they gotta do stuff. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah. They might have to bring back Quad. And um, <laughs> and what's the other lady that they kicked off? Oh, Mariah. 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 Yeah. And the yeah. lady who miscarried. They might have to bring all three of them back. <laughs> <laughs> they just might have to. Yeah. Because there's not much going. I mean, her son's going off to college. Happens to everybody just about. Mm -hmm. Everybody, you know. And Jackie really has nothing going on. What happened to this new practice? We haven't seen it. Her practice? Yeah, I remember she was had that big. Oh, yeah, practice. yeah. Yeah. Remember she said that they bought a whole bunch of expensive things that they shouldn't have? Maybe I thought she meant when she opened her first, first practice. Oh, yeah. 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 Maybe because of COVID, they couldn't finish building that. Maybe. Could be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, let's hope that next week something happens. Maybe um, 
Contestant. Even the fights were stupid. So it wasn't worth that. That was stupid. So yeah. <laughs> um, if you, if you know what, if there's nothing to tape, then it's best just not to tape that, not to play. About it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're done everybody for this week. Yeah. Oh, I, no, we're not done this week. When's, uh, we'll be back on Thursday. <laughs> to talk about uh, Married at First Sight. Mm -hmm. Yes. To talk about Married at First Sight. Okay. I cannot <laughs> wait. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment below. Comment below, people. We want to hear know, it. We want to know what you think. Were you just as bored as we were? Do you like Neela and um, what's her name? Who? Oh, um, Neela and her best friend. Toya? Toya, as a couple. Do you yeah. think they're a match made in heaven? What do you think about Contessa and um, her husband? And her husband, should they be working together? Give us your opinion. We want to know. Talk to us. We're right. here to hear. All, All right. right, everyone. Bye. Have a good night. Bye.